So let's look at r equals sine 2 theta. Now if we graph this, it looks sort of something like this. It's a like a four-petaled flower. All right. And suppose we want to find the area of just one of the petals. Okay. We got to find out um, what are our limits are going to be. So let's let's play around a little bit. If we take theta and we start with say zero, okay, what do we get out? Well, if you plug in zero to sine, you get zero. So we're starting at the origin. What happens if we plug in something like, um, hmm, let's try pi over 12. Now, why did I choose pi over 12? You might say, well, I don't know anything about pi over 12. Well, the reason is this 2. If I put in um, the usual things like pi over 6, it's going to be pi over 3. So I put in pi over 12 because 2 pi over 12 is pi over 6. Sine of pi over 6 is a half. So that's a very small angle, and maybe we're at about here. Okay. If I plug in, say, pi over 6, that's the same as, um, let's do pi over 8, actually. Okay. So you know, maybe a little further out, um, pi over 8, plug it in, same as pi over 2, you get root 2 over 2. That's about 0.7-ish. So we're we're a little further out, so maybe about here. Um, plug in, say, pi over 6. A little further out again. Um, it's the same as pi over 3, so it's root 3 over 2. Um, uh, what does this end up being? Uh, that's about 1.7, so half of that um, being 0.8 something. Get a little further out. Um, Plug in pi over 4, so now we're uh, halfway through the pedal. That's the same as pi over 2, and we get 1, which is the furthest point out there. So the distances have gotten larger each time as we go around the pedal. And now as we go from pi over 4 towards pi over 2, when we plug in pi over 2, it's twice pi over 2. That's pi. We're right back here again. Okay. So once you get uh, a little bit of the feel for what's going on here, you can figure out your limits. So I know that going from 0 radians to pi over 2 radians is going to give me that quarter of, of, uh, of this graph, that one petal. Now the integral for the area swept out by a polar graph is 1 half alpha to beta r squared of theta d theta. Now, our, our r is sine 2 theta. So this is going to be 1 half the integral of sine of 2 theta squared, going from 0 to pi over 2, d theta. Now, I encourage you when you're doing these things, by all means, to use your graphing calculator to graph out a picture of this and to play with different angles. Be sure of your limits. All right. Now, um, integrating this, so... What do we have? We have uh, 1 half the integral from 0 to pi over 2. It's sine squared of 2 theta d theta. So we can use our double angle um, or reduction formula. I forget the, the names of these things. But this is going to be 1 minus cosine of 4 theta over 2 d theta. Pull the 2 out, we get a 1 quarter out front, and then we get a 1 minus cosine of 4 theta on the inside, which is nice and easy to integrate. So this is 1 quarter theta um, minus 1 quarter sine 4 theta. I'm evaluated from 0 to pi over 2. Now if you notice, this sine is going to cancel at both pi over 2 and 0 because 4 times pi over 2 is 2 pi and 4 times 0 is 0. So this term isn't going to make a difference. So we're going to have 1 quarter of pi over 2 minus 0 which is 1 quarter of pi over 2 or pi over 8. Okay, So that's the area of one of the petals 
if you want to know all four of them, you multiply by four, of course, and you get um, a pi over pi over two. Okay, so there's an example uh, of polar integration.